looks pretty straightforward to fit. We got instructions here. Five stages. Right, the first thing we've got to do is pop the seat and the trusty tool at the ready. Take out these two Allen bolts. So we've got those two bolts out at the back. And as you can see, under the seat is proving to be quite a handy little tray. You put all your bits and bobs. Next thing is fitting the rack. It's quite a substantial hefty piece of kit. And that there is going to go on there. So these are the attachments we need to get the rack on the bike in accordance with number three there. So spacers underneath and the rest in that order on top. Let's do it. So far so good. That's looking good on there. There we go. Right. Now on to the next stage. So it looks like we're fitting a bit like this over the shock to the back of the bike. So I think it's going to go in place like that. Using that bolt under there. So let's give that a whirl. Well, we had a bit of rain stop play, but we're going to crack on with This bit here, okay, so that's got to go top of the suspension bolt. This little piece of metal work here. So we'll get that slackened off. Pull the bolt out. This then goes in place, bolt goes back in. Let's do it. It's quite, quite fiddly under there, but it's coming. It's coming. You can't get a socket under there because of the side bit. So ring spanner to loosen it off. And then this has got to be the world's longest bolt. Come back in a minute. Okay, I don't think you can see, but it's uh, incredibly tight up there because you've got the bodywork here plastic sort of trim on the back there and then the bolt just about squeezes inside there so I'm doing it up with my fingers first of all get it to a certain stage where I can get the ring spanner in and then we can tighten it up that's that gonna be in place there for the side bit yeah that bit will be in place there for the side bit when I'm gonna be tightened Okay, here's a little tip. I've really struggled to get this bolt here in and through the top of the suspension because it's so tight here. So what I did was I got the fingers, pulled this out, got the bolt in, and the head of the bolt was wedged firmly against the back of this, but it was level and it was waiting to be pushed through. So then what I did was I held some folded up microfiber cloth over this bit and just tapped it with a hammer. And hey presto, the bolt slid in lovely. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, that was a bit of a faff fitting that there. So if you didn't pick it up from the video, the lessons that I've learned are can't get sockets in there, just a ring spanner. So, slacken it off of the ring spanner. As soon as you can get your fingers in there, unscrew it with your fingers, pull the bolt out, slip this piece, obviously, on, and then get the bolt underneath here, pull this out, so you can get the bolt just in place, and the head of the bolt will be pushing against that. Folded up microfiber cloth on here, give it a tap with the hammer, the bolt then slides through, 
and then do it up with your, with your fingers as much as you can, finish it off with a ring spanner. Okay, the benefit of hindsight. So the second one I felt on the other side should be straightforward. Let's do it. Yep, I was right with the learnings from the first side. That was relatively easy. Okay, so back to the instructions now. So I've got that on. Now we have this, I don't know what you'd call this, a support, grab rail, whatever. Number four. Put that in there. So it's this little chap here. Okay, so let's offer that up and see where that goes. Right, now this little chap is gonna go onto the bits each side that we've just fitted. And then that's gonna attach under there like that. Let's have a look. So the first bit is to fit that little bit of framework, grab rail, whatever you wanna call it onto the bit we just fitted onto the springs. And I've got my little takeaway box here full of attachments. So we're gonna assemble it like that, exactly how it shows in the instructions. So these little Allen nuts and the washers, excuse my greasy paws. So I'll just pop that in place there very loosely. And then on the other side, we've got a little nut another washer so I've just fitted that very loosely both sides to begin with and then I've just offered this up to that there which you can see it fits lovely and I've dropped these little bolts here Allen bolts countersunk they're gonna go through there so I'm just gonna put that in place very very lightly put these nuts in and then I'm going to go around and tighten them all up so I'm just going to loosely screw this or bolt this in place here and as you can see that offers up very very nicely indeed and we're going to have the nut and the washer underneath and then the allen bolt on the top this is actually countersunk so that'll fall in there quite nicely and flush to the surface. And we've got rusty but trusty Allen key on one side and the ring spanner to hang onto the nut on the bottom and get it all tightened up. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, and now we're gonna go around and tighten all these up. And that's how the framework is looking right that's the top box framework all fitted oh, i'm happy with that that's everything that uh, i've ever fitted from shad it's really really sturdy and nice tucked in yeah and that's that's not going anywhere right it's time to get the box on now so here's the actual top box itself that's the shad Top case, SH44. Here it is in the box. Let's fish it out. I've just rested it on top and all the bits and pieces and instructions are inside. And the actual thing it mounts onto. And all the keys and attachments. But first, I'm going to have some lunch. Okay, I'm back, had a spot of lunch. So, trying to fit the rest of it now. First thing I've done is plonk that on there. Takeaway box, attachments, instructions. Right. Okay, so. That's telling us how to operate the box. And that's telling us how to fit the box. Right, let's crack on. 
Right, so that's pretty straightforward. I've already assessed this. So it's telling us here, this is how you fit to each of the different sorts of platform, plate, whatever you want to call it, that it fits to. Now we, as you saw earlier, I've got this one here. So that should be fairly straightforward with literally a few bolts through the top. So all I need to do now is we back this up on here like that and we can see that it's going to be those four there that are lined up nicely with the holes in there so that's what will fit and everything we need and some spares that we don't will be in the box here so we'll crack on the first thing we do is drop these little plastic bits in where they belong in there and we can see here well you can't see because my hand's in the way you can see here that they're all count they're all got like a little sort of count the sinkings in so these bolts will go nicely in there and underneath we're going to have a washer and a nut so that's pretty straightforward isn't it so i'm just going to drop firstly drop the four bolts in there you go so they're in place that's all right got to screw them in now so we're going to get the washers and the bolts and the nuts even washers and nuts underneath just a little tip, there are eight bolts, two times four, different sizes. Just make sure you get the right one for the right fitting. Close on the instructions here. Um, zoom in there. The sizes here, 30 and 40. And on the one we need, it's gonna be the 30s, which is a number six. So it's the slightly shorter ones. So make sure that you get the right ones in. So in our case, it's the shorter ones. All right, so that's all in place. We've got the bolts on the top, nuts and the washers in the bottom. Just got to tighten all these up now, and then we can actually pop the box on. Uh, Shad like to keep you on the toes a little bit. These are Phillips, some of the other fitments, are Allen. It doesn't matter. I've got all the tools anyway, so. Jobs are good. Right, let's get this tightened up. So that's all tightened up. That's firmly in place. And that's well supported by that framework we fitted earlier. To the top of the suspension. And obviously inside there. And Shad make all these, of course, to fit different machines. And that is very, very sturdy. That's going to take a lot of weight in that top box. And here's the box. So get two keys with it. So let's pop this on and take a look what it looks like. Right, so we've got two sets of keys. And the top box is now ready to be fitted in place. So all you do here underneath is there's a lip. If my camera around can just get underneath and show the lip. There we go, we can just hook that in like that. So it's underneath the lip. And then we simply lift that and pull this down so it's in place. That's just clicked in underneath here and we close that up. And that is now in place. Okay. And then we can, that's locked, so that's not going to do. And then we can just unlock it and flick that here to do that. Okay, close that. Remember, if you want to take the box off, you just pull this down like that, which unlatches it from underneath and lift off and you can carry the whole thing how cool is that right i'll just put this back on and then we'll get some shots of the bike with it on